Hi, I'm Desiree Lim, and I'm really honored to have my film The House um, at the Vancouver Women Film Festival this year. My career in filmmaking started um, out, um, when I was back in Japan. I graduated from a journalism program for, from the university. Uh, it's called Sophie University. And right away went to broadcasting and, and uh, I started off uh, doing some associate producing on, on, on news and documentary shows and then moved into directing. Mostly factual programs which, which are you know, news, lifestyle and documentaries. So I, I worked um, in, in the broadcast world for about five years and then I decided I wanted to, to move into the dramatic filmmaking realm and so I quit my corporate job and uh, became freelance, made my first uh, TV feature um, back in Japan and it was for a pay channel and uh, made my debut I guess as a director, a writer-director. I think I've always been a storyteller, you know, when I was growing up I was writing, I was drawing and at some point I wanted to be, uh, become a writer, a novelist and also a manga artist so I couldn't decide. So I guess I, so those two elements just sort of like meshed into one and, and I'm a visual storyteller, I tell it, you know, on screen. So, um, and I've always enjoyed creating my own world of, of reality, of characters and, and stories. So. That just, uh, I think to me, is just part of my, my second nature, is to, is to tell stories to, through the visual eye. The biggest challenge, I think, for me making the house is really the budgetary constraints. We, we made this film on a shoestring budget and with a crew that's really small and also inexperienced. Uh, but all these people came together um, to be part of this film because they, they felt that this is a film that uh, they wanted to be involved in and, and something they want to see uh, made. But at the same time, um, everyone was trying to learn something from, from this because they were uh, a very young crew. You know? But um, but everyone was was really uh, really passionate about what they did, and and they they worked really hard, and I really appreciate having um, a crew like that. And well, you know, I've always been in the industry, you know, whether it's being uh, TV or, or film, and when you're working in the office, you work with a lot of female co coworkers, you know, behind the desks. Uh, but when you're on the field, you're usually around men, like me as a director, or my camera guy, or my, my AD, or, or, or my sound guy, they're usually men, so I'm, I'm very used to working in that, you know, um, male world. Um, I think, I think um, what, the, what our film industry lacks right now is, is really the female vision, you know, the female perspective that telling stories, you know, about women, by women, and and uh, you know through the, the female experience, so I think there's still a lot of work to be done, a lot of ways to be paved, you know. And I think women in film, part of what women in film uh, does is, is that is paving the way for more and more female filmmakers to 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 have a voice and, and to be able to uh, to learn and, and advance in, in their career and be part of the, the fabric, which I think is still lacking a great deal. And that's not just a you know a Canadian problem; it's a, it's a global problem. To me, fundamentally, whether you're making a ten thousand dollar film or a hundred million dollar film, what it is is make a good film. Do you know how to tell a good story? You know, so it's not about you know all the um, all the whistles and, and bells. It's all about storytelling, creative storytelling. Do you have interesting characters? Do you have an interesting story? Do you have good actors? Do you know how to direct? So, uh, it's to me, it's not so much about the technology. Uh, it really comes down to making a good film. What I would advise young filmmakers to do is to watch as many films as you can. And uh, not just the films that are coming out right now, but also study the history of film learn where it came from and then you learn the rules before you break them and find your own. 
So that's my, my biggest advice for, for young filmmakers. I mean, I as a you know, mid-career filmmaker myself, I'm always learning as well and I'm trying to always watch more and more films. And the other thing is to really go out there and just shoot something and see and, and learn through you know, your mistakes and, and trials and, and errors. And yeah, if I had a crystal ball, uh, where I would like to see myself in five years is making a lot of money through my films, uh, but still be able to, to stay true to, to my vision and, and, and also my integrity as, a, as an artist. So who knows, you know, uh, you know, just keep making films. That's, that's I think, the most important thing as a filmmaker. Just, just keep making f films and not be afraid to fail.